In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all over 10 Chromebook tips and tricks to make your Chromebook experience so much easier. I've done my research and found out some of the best tips for Chromebooks, and now I'll be sharing that list with you. So many of you guys have asked for another Chromebook video, and I figured I should just give the people what they want. So here it is, a Chromebook video for all of you guys who've been waiting very patiently for it. Before I start, I just want to say two things. First is that this channel shout out is going to go to Lulu Does. Make sure to check the channel out. It will be linked down below. Secondly, I have gotten so many questions about what Chromebook I have. And I just want to say that I have the Lenovo 500e Chromebook second generation. It will be linked down below. So hopefully that helps everybody out. So now you know what Chromebook I have. Without further ado, let's just get into this video. Now the first thing you must know when getting a Chromebook is the shortcuts. So Chromebooks are a little different from other computers when it comes to the handy keyboard shortcuts. So whether you had a Mac or another desktop, you might want to stick around because Chromebook shortcuts are going to be a little different. To get the full list of shortcuts, just press Control, Alt, and question mark and that'll bring you straight to an entire list with tons of shortcuts you can use. Instead of making you go through this entire list all by yourself though, I'm going to tell you just a few shortcuts that are great to use. One shortcut I'm sure a lot of people don't know much about is the caps lock shortcut. So when you look at your Chromebook keyboard, you're not going to see a caps lock button, but there is still a way to do caps lock. And that is by using a keyboard shortcut. So if you press search and alt, that is going to turn the caps lock on. And if you want to turn the caps lock off, all you have to do is press search alt again. So that's how you do caps lock. And that's one of the shortcuts I did not know, but now I know about my computer. Another useful keyboard shortcut that a lot of you guys have been asking me about is the screenshot and screen record. So I didn't know this before, but on a Chromebook, it is built in where you can screenshot and screen record your screen without having to get a Chrome extension. And this is great because it works a lot better than any other Chrome extension will. So to do this, all you're gonna have to do is press Control, Shift, and the overview button at the very top and that will bring you to a screenshot menu. Then you can press either the camera to take a screenshot or the video camera to take a screen recording and you can just follow the instructions that it tells you to do and that's how you do it. Super easy and I'm so glad that I found this out. Another helpful keyboard shortcut is how to get your Google Assistant. So a Chromebook is C Google Chrome and it's completely run by that. So you are going to do a lot of things with Google, including having your own Google Assistant. So to get your Google Assistant, you're gonna press the search and a button and that's gonna bring up the Google Assistant to help you with anything that you need. One thing that I'm sure many people struggle with is dealing with all of those different windows that they have open. So it can be hard to keep track of all of them, but there is a helpful solution. If you just press the overview button that is on your keyboard, you will easily be able to see all the different windows that you have open and easily navigate between each individual one. And if you want to switch between your different tabs, all you have to do is press control tab and that will switch you between all your different tabs in order without having you to move your mouse or keypad around. There's one more keyboard shortcut that I definitely want to talk to you guys about before we go on to the rest of the tips and that is how to easily search through your entire computer. So if you just press the little search button on your keyboard, that's gonna bring up a search from the bottom of your screen. And then on there, you can literally search for anything. It can be something that you want to search on Google. It can be looking for a certain app on your computer or anything like that. 
and if you're doing a Google search, you just type it in, search, and it'll bring you straight to a new tab without you having to open a new tab and then search it on Google. So this is a quick and easy way to search for anything on your computer, and all you have to do is press the little search button and you're right there. So the next thing you're gonna want to do after you've learned all the shortcuts for your computer is make it your own. So one way you can do that is by customizing the wallpaper on your computer. So to customize the wallpaper, I actually didn't know how to do this, but now I do, because a lot of you guys commented helping me out. You just go to your files and you go to the picture that you want to be your wallpaper, and then you're just going to press more options on the photo and then hit set as wallpaper and that'll make it your wallpaper in a really fast and easy way. Another fun way to personalize your computer is by changing the device's image. So if you go to your settings and click personalization, you can change your account image to anything that you want, including an image from your own files. So this is a super fun way to personalize your computer and add that special touch that makes it unique to you. Lastly, I want to tell you guys about how you can add Google Play onto your computer because many of you guys have asked me about how to do that. So to add Google Play, you're just going to go onto your um, settings. You're going to go to the apps portion and then you're going to find the area that says Google Play and you should have a feature where you can enable it. So that's how you add Google Play and that's how you can get fun apps on your computer. Those are all the tips that I've had for today. Hopefully everyone enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!